Hey everybody, it's Keith from Bjorklin Readworks. Leaky reads, we've all dealt with them, and today we're gonna cover a new way of helping seal those up. So leaky reads are clearly never the ideal, and we always want to be doing our best work with wrapping our thread on the read to make sure that there's no uh, leaks inherent in the design of how you're putting your read together. Of course, leaks will happen, whether in the process of the, key, of the cane adjusting um, or just over time as you're playing on them, it might start opening up. And it's really unfortunate that you would just have to smash and get rid of a read just because of this one issue. So, as an oboist in the real world, I like to find solutions of how we can make this better. Maybe you've heard of using clear nail polish. That's a really good option in sealing up the area around the thread and even at the base of the, the reed itself. That usually works really well for me, but sometimes it can kind of peel off. Uh, I've also used plumber's tape, which is a great option too, but same kind of situation where it can roll off, fall off in some way, some way or another. Uh, and it, it has that, uh, not it doesn't look as good, it doesn't look as nice. So I took one out of the book of bassoons, some bassoon knowledge, one word, and I started using some of this stuff, Duco cement. Um, and I'm gonna show you just what I do to apply that if I'm getting some issues from a read. Let's hop to it. So the premise makes sense. Bassoon players use this cement as a sealant, and so I thought we could use it for the same purpose for oboe reeds when we're dealing with some leaks. So I have here a oboe reed, and we have our uh, cement, and then we just have something that we can wipe excess off of our hand. So all we need to do, oftentimes, um, we might get some leaks up here, right at the base of the cane, or maybe somewhere within the threaded area. So what we can do with this is just push out a little bit across here. I like to do a little bead across the base, and then just get some across the thread here. Probably can't really see it on there, but you get the idea of what I'm doing. And then I'll, it's, it's all over the place on there, so to even it out, and you bassoon players can shout out, I think this is what you do. I actually have no bassoon background, so I was trying to just figure it out based on internet videos and whatnot. So now we have more of an even across application of the cement. That's really it. So then I can wipe excess off here and we're better sealed. Uh, I might do another layer depending on um, how this one works. So yeah, it, often a couple couple of thin layers across this will serve you better than just one. And that's really it. Very simple, uh, great option for sealing up reeds that are just giving you a little bit of problem with some kind of leak. And really quickly, before I go, I wanted to talk to you guys about a couple things coming up this summer. Uh, all across the country, there is Boca Majority Double Read Camps. I will be teaching this year's camp in Chicago, July 23rd through the 26th. This is up just north of Chicago. If you're interested in the Chicago area camp, you can go to bocamajority.com and go to their camps page. Whether you're in Chicago or not, they have camps all across the country and at different universities. And what you could do is you can Go there, see if it fits your summer schedule, and then if you end up signing up, put my name under the referral code, or the referral name. That would really help me out in my affiliation with Boca Majority. Thank you guys so much. And also, if you are in the Chicago area and you're looking for something that's more specific to just oboe read making, I'm hosting my own camp here on the north side of Chicago, July 11th through 13th. It's three days, three hours each day, sort of a boot camp style read camp to get you either rolling with your, um, if you're brand new to read making, or if you're looking for some extra guidance, I'd love to be able to help you with that. I'm really excited about it. Uh, I'll leave details in the comments. Thank you guys so much. It's gonna be a great summer.